Uh, if you read the, the same essay that I talk about, I quote how they have long held that Muslims and all non-Hindus should be second-class citizens. You know, this man presided over the massacre of Muslims in Gujarat. Really, the distress that he has been put, put, putting people in this country to, starting from that massacre, a series of other things, and now the Citizenship Amendment Bill, I, I personally think it's not just a violation of a mass violation of human rights, uh, including what is happening in Kashmir, but something where this regime ought to be tried for crimes against humanity. And I'm not exaggerating. And so what happens now? Listen, Modi won a pretty big uh, election victory earlier this year. Um, it, it, is, is this people power going to make a difference? Or is the Modi slide, as you would see it, going to continue checked but unchecked? Look, I think the real danger now is that right now you see that students across India are protesting in the most amazing ways. But they've been brutalized by the police. The Aligarh Muslim University, Jamia Milia, police have entered and smashed up the place, smashed up students. But now, but what I'm worried about is if the militia, the Hindu right-wing militia is, is unleashed now, then you're looking at a situation of civil war. You know, that is what I'm worried about. Right now, it's the police versus students and protesters. But if the right-wing militias, of which there are many, many organizations who have killed in the past, who have mass murdered in the past, if they are unleashed, we are in a lot of trouble here. But there would need to be a more united opposition in India to keep Modi in check, and that doesn't look like it's materializing, or is it? Right. Uh, right now, you know, they've just been elected to power, so we are not talking about a new election. But uh, one of the things you have to keep in mind is that state after state, they've been losing elections. And a lot of the timing of this has to do with their desire to make inroads in, into West Bengal, where they're trying to polarize the population based on this bill into, you know, Muslim migrants from Bangladesh and Hindu migrants from Bangladesh and Hindu Bengalis and Muslim Bengalis. So a lot of the push is to try and break through the bastion of West Bengal. But now state after state, Bengal, Punjab, Kerala,